made it to Reading. Um, maybe I should uh, pack my bag. <laughs> Some of this is going to go in my bag and the rest is just stuff for the rest of the time. Um, I'm going to organise it. Everything should be there. I did check it before I left home because um, it's a bit late now, if not. Um, and then I'll be ready for bed. A quick shower and then ready for bed because why not have a shower? <laughs> it seems a bit pointless but might as well start the day clean. So it's kind of my stuff for tomorrow, so it's not actually as bad as it looks. Um, I say that. <laughs> so I've got, first I've got my stuff that I'm wearing, so I've got my green top, which I seem to do all my runs in, some socks, my bra, and my favourite dog shorts. So that's what I'll be wearing to run in. Um, I've also got my two soft flasks, um, which I have some Tailwind in here. Um, you can actually fit two scoops of Tailwind in here, so I'm going to stick that in one of these. Um, I've also got some sun cream and some extra lube for help with chafing because if it's hot I'm going to have a problem. But look how cute these are! And they're refillable and squidgy, so I'm going to use those to take with me because they're little. got some tissues, got my sun hat. Um, on the mandatory kit it said a charger, so I've got a little portable charger which I'll take along with um, my phone cable and my watch cable because I don't want my watch to run out of battery I'm not taking that um, in one of these I have my waterproof and a, another pair of socks and in the other one I have the base layer because that's a mandatory kit along with the waterproof I um, also have a foil blanket because you know it doesn't hurt to have one of those in I've got my headphones which are, will be very useful I've got some paracetamol um, I've got some of these, I'm not going to take all of this, I'm going to put stuff in my bag and see how I feel about where it is, um, and some of these if it's really hot. Um, all melon ones taste quite nice, better than the lemon and lime. Um, I've got a flapjack, some of these chews, um, and I'll take a room bar or two, and then I like to just carry a gel, just <laughs> for when uh, I want something a bit different. And this one's a cherry bakewell flavour, so that should be interesting. I um, also have a buff, I'm not sure if I'm going to take that yet. But I'll decide tomorrow um, and that's basically basically it I've got my sunglasses but I'm not too sure that I want them I might just squint the whole way <laughs> and struggle um, I also have my spare GoPro batteries so I will stick those in um, a little thing um, in a minute and then that's it and I'll put those in my Harrier 5 litre pack because I don't need much more space actually um, it's the only one I've ever used and I've saved my badges on the back so they look really bright and colourful, um, so that's quite nice. Um, hopefully they'll look good on the run. And then I'm going to sort my other bits out. I've got um, some clothes for tomorrow to put on after and um, pyjamas for tonight because I'm staying in a hotel closer to where the start is in Reading. And then I've got a uh, taxi booked for like 5 o'clock tomorrow morning because um, the race starts only 15 minute drive away. It starts at 6. So that's very exciting. So literally gonna do this, shower and go to bed. Um, yeah, how exciting. So almost packed. I'm um, also packing a little packet of crisps because I, I don't want too much sweet stuff. Um, I got some coins to, um, you know, it might be really hot and I might want an ice cream or something. I don't know. I got some change, always quite useful to have some change. And I've also got my cards, um, including just, just because, you know, don't take up much space. Um, another thing I've done is I've worked out, I'll post a picture, <laughs> I've worked out where the aid stations are, how far they are, how far it is to the next one, and when I should arrive at them based on different distances. Um, so we'll see how much I stick to any of that, but it's quite nice to know the biggest, apart from the 10 miles to the first aid station, the biggest one is an eight mile gap later on, um, but it's quite nice to mentally know where everything is. Um, I think that was all I had to say. I'll probably edit this and realise stuff I didn't. <laughs> Although, by the time I edited this, I would know what would happen. Um, so, I just need to finish it in the 14 hours. Um, but I have got 12 and a half, 13 and 13 and a half hours on here. Um, just because it's nice to have a goal, isn't it? Um, I'm also not sure what shoes I'm going to wear yet. I brought both my trail and road. But I think... A lot of people are wearing road because there's quite a lot of well some road parts and some hard trail and also they're just a bit more cushioned but I'm not sure I'll decide on the morning um, but yeah quite exciting this is pretty much packed and ready to go 
Um, I didn't take all the all these or anything. I've, t I've left quite a few out. Um, just taking a handful because I just need things to get to like the first aid station um, and top up in between um, because it's 10 miles to the first one but I want to start early on um, so that means just taking stuff uh, yes oh and just a note um, the reason I actually do have paracetamol isn't just because I'm running really far and it is because very typically I did start my period on Wednesday um, so I've had a few days to kind of get over the worst of it but it's still not ideal um, but there we go, it was not a surprise, um, we've just got to work with what we've got, I'm sure it'll be okay, I'm sure it will be okay. Oh, and um, I didn't say what I'd done this week, so I only did two little runs, I'll post a picture here and here, future Beth is going to love editing this, <laughs> um, literally just about two miles on each, two point something, um, just keep moving because I can't do anything about it now all I can do is try and get as much sleep as I can and I've got everything it's all prepped it's all, it's all ready I'm actually quite excited but really nervous